the long-awaited new age has got off to a flying start as the energies that it has brought with it sweep across your beautiful planet to commence the essential revitalization of all her systems, and to encourage and inspire humanity as it begins to understand what has just occurred. The commencement of a new age is an event of enormous importance and significance for Earth and for all the life forms that she so willingly supports. All humans on Earth at this point in her ongoing evolution chose to be here to assist in this magnificent process, even though large numbers of them still remain unaware of the marvelous opportunities with which they are about to be presented to create new lifestyles that will uplift and inspire you all as peace, harmony, and abundance replace the unbalanced and inadequate societal and international relationships in which you seem to have enmeshed yourselves for so long. Your future is very bright indeed and will grow even brighter as you all decide to take part in ongoing creative ventures that will inspire enormous enthusiasm for life in every one of you. As you have often been told recently, this is a wonderful time to be embodied on Earth because the inflowing energies will uplift and inspire humanity to move forwards collectively to establish a harmoniously balanced way of life that honors all on the planet, without exception. These new and joyful attitudes that you are starting to embrace will totally change your perception of yourselves and of one another as you look forward to interacting together with creative enthusiasm and bright visions of what the future holds for you all. The old times of constant conflict, disagreement, and mistrust are to fade away into the mists of time, forgiven and forgotten, as you move gloriously ahead to engage in many new ventures that will bring you unimaginable satisfaction. It is indeed correct to refer to these new times as a new age because so much is changing, so much is being renewed, and so much that is completely new is coming into being. The old ways that taught and encouraged rugged individualism as the only reliable life path to ensure your survival in an unsafe and threatening world were never valid. They seemed to work for those who were strong and confident, but in fact no one was particularly strong or confident. They just donned masks that hid their fears and anxieties and often succeeded in convincing others that they were invincible until it became apparent that they were not, and other masked pretenders or role players replaced them. Now awareness is growing rapidly that behind the apparent power and might of authority, figures and organizations there is a vacuum, an emptiness in which individuals are constantly fighting one another for control. At times it appears that a strong person is in charge but this only occurs fleetingly when the organization itself seems threatened, the norm is constant vying for control between groups and individuals within the organization. Many have been aware of this for eons, but their interest has been solely in arranging for the transfer of that authority from the current holders to new ones espoused by those who demand change. However, this newly expanded sense of awareness throughout humanity is leading to the realization that authority in the form of government agencies, and throughout educational, healthcare, political, social, and religious organizations is a means to control and suppress individuals and deprive them of their human rights. The reasoning constantly offered to justify these authoritarian measures is that they are essential for the safety and security of the majority, when in fact the true agenda is purely to preserve the power and authority of those at the summit of those organizations who believe that they have an inalienable right to that power and control and it is a right that they had no intention of relinquishing. In this new age people no longer feel automatically beholden to those who claim authority over them, and as authority only works when people generally accept it, the age of massive agencies of control is finished. It started to become apparent over 30 years ago as the Eastern European states began to disentangle themselves from the grip of the Soviet Union which then itself broke apart. That disentanglement from rigid and inflexible power structures is continuing apace right across the planet, and signs of it are apparent everywhere. At times it seems to threaten the very foundations of civilization and of course it does because civilization needs to become civilized which is a very new concept indeed. In previous times civilization meant the crushing and suppressing of the weak by the strong, who claimed to have better methods of running and controlling society for the general good. Now civilization is to re-engage with the true meaning of that word, a civilized society is one which respects and honors all life forms while continuing to further its own education as it strives for the spiritual enlightenment of all mankind, yet never imposing its own beliefs, judgments, or opinions on others. It offers loving encouragement and assistance to all who seek it because its sole purpose is to serve the needs of all its members. The new age has arrived 
so engage with it joyfully and fruitfully from your hearts as they fill with love from the divine field in which you are all enveloped, and which is constantly increasing the power and intensity of its presence in your lives. Expect happiness and satisfaction to expand and fill your lives until there is no area within them where the slightest sense of dissatisfaction remains. With so very much love, Saul.